Movement in acting class, movement in scene work, movement in auditions, movement for chemistry reads. Movement when you're engaged with another actor, moving in a scene. You never ever move on another actor's lines. It's rude and it looks like you're not listening. So when another actor is speaking, you're listening. And when we listen, we don't move around. And you'll notice that if somebody's moving on your lines, you're wondering if they're actually listening. So you can stop. If somebody's moving on your lines and you're wondering if they're really hearing you, wait, get their attention. So it's not rude. It's part of the work. It's part of the give and take. It's part of, are you hearing me? Because what I'm saying is really important. And that is crucial that you hear me and that I listen to you. But you can move on your own line and you can move before your own line when they're done speaking. You can move at any time when it's on your line, before your line, sometimes after your line. But if they begin to speak, you want to listen. Another thing is, is always move to the door. Assess if you're going to leave. Don't just walk to a wall and stand and stare at a wall. Always assess your space and move to the door. This is a very common problem to see an actor actually move to a wall. It's, it's not real. And any time you fake anything, any time you feel like you're doing something that isn't real, reminds you that you're acting and you don't want that. You want to always be reminded and reminding yourself that you're in an imaginary circumstance, but it's real for you in this moment. Another thing about movement is to not lean on things. I've noticed that actors in, you know, on camera, um, often if they're going to get a close-up and they're leaning on something, it looks awkward and you might lose a close-up just because you're leaning and we have to see where your body and how your body is taking form, otherwise it just doesn't communicate. So I always have actors, unless you're leaning on a desk and it's an office moment and you're in a confrontation, that's about the only time you get to lean. Leaning on chairs, it just looks weak. Leaning against the back wall is probably the weakest choice unless you're James Dean and you're being very vulnerable. I was kind of joking with that, but a very, very vulnerable guy can lean against the wall and go to tears or something, and that's very, very um, heart opening. But most of the time, you're not leaning against the wall. Don't find yourself up against the back wall um, because you're upstage. And there's a saying about upstage, you can upstage yourself or other people can upstage you. But if you find yourself way upstage, you're in a way upstaging yourself. And that is not a positive thing. Upstaging means that you're making it harder for the audience to grasp you. You're making it harder for your casting director to grasp you. You're making it harder for your you know, acting class to grasp you when you're in a scene. You want to be in the center of the room or towards the front of the room. So everyone, and you want to open up and give your experience to your audience. Assess your space and use it as a reality. So let's say you're in a park and there's a bench, but you only have a chair. Imagine that chair is a bench and imagine your park and translate the environment into that park. Or let's say you're in an office and the scene takes place in a restaurant. Um, you can, again, assess your space and incorporate the doors and whatever else is in the space as real for that restaurant so that you're working with the environment rather than against the environment. You will want to imagine what's in your fourth wall. The fourth wall in acting is the one that the audience, where the audience is. And so you've got a first wall, second wall, third wall. The fourth wall is your audience. And your audience is actually occupying a space that would be a wall or a mirror or a door or a window. There's a million, there's many things that fourth wall could be. It could be a bookshelf. But the more you bring yourself out towards that wall, the more we're invited into your performance. So that's really important to stay visible to your audience. I have a joke I say to my actors, ass fired, face hired. They fire your ass, they hire your face. So you want your face out, open, and there to be hired and there to be received. It's really important to make sure you're standing in your light. If it's an audition and your casting director says you can sit or stand, or they just want you to stand, you must stand where they ask you to stand. If you're in a situation where you're in the theater or you're in your acting class, you're going to want to always gravitate towards the light. Some of you might not like light in your eyes, but that's what an actor is. An actor is in front of an audience and the lights are on you 
and you really can't see your audience much sometimes, but the light is illuminating you. And so it's very important to welcome the bright lights, embrace them because they are embracing your performance. Take the journey and please subscribe. Hi, I'm Kimberly Jensen. Thank you for watching.